Today on the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Tips and Techs, we're going to show you how to wash your grill. Danny. Yes, Trevor? You're at the wrong grill. What? Yeah, come down here. Okay. Danny, when I said we were going to wash the grill, I didn't mean the barbecue grill. I meant that we were going to put a black wash of paint into our model car grills, and I was going to show you how that was done. So let's go inside down to the basement and we'll get our supplies ready. Model car grills come in all different shapes and sizes as you can see here. Here we've got the custom grill from the 49 Mercury, 55 Chevy grill, the Canadian Meteor grill from the 57 Ford kit. Here we have the rear bumper grill from the 63 Ford Galaxy. Here's the stock 63 Galaxy bumper and grill and headlights, 62 Buick and 63 Chevrolet. So we have all these different grills here. And then we've got a little brush. We've got our Citadel standard brush, Citadel Nome Oil. This is the shade we're gonna use to uh, get into our grills here. I also have a Baden Black because on grills such as the 49 Mercury Custom, I think it would be easier to paint the ovals with black paint rather than trying to wash the ovals. Uh, here we have our paint mixing dish as well as a little bowl of water. So this is how you get your grills out of the model kit boxes. As you can see, it's basically solid chrome. So Danny, yes Trevor? Keep a note of these because I'm going to show you a before and after. I've got some spares of the 62, or pardon me, the 63 Ford grills that we can use just for the before and after. So anyway, Danny, get ready and you will see the excellent results of our black wash here. So I thought what I would do here is just switch up so that we had the two grills. I have these done before and mounted on a car. So these are spares. This will be the before part of our video. Uh, and I'll show you what they look like on the car after. Anyway, this will be the process. So here we have the Citadel Shade Nome Oil. And this is nice because it's already pre-mixed for you, so you don't need to um, add water to it or anything like that. I do have our water dish here. And that is just basically to clean up our brush once we're done. So uh, for this paint, it's pretty easy. Oh, there goes everything falling over. So all we do is just open up the lid like this. Actually, if you turn around, you'll notice there's this funny little thing on the back of the bottle top. That is when you open the lid and extend it out, it should hold that cap straight up and down. Now we um, can start with our grill here. So we'll just take a little paint off here. Of course remember to shake this up first. And then very easily we just apply it in. It can be fairly thick if you want, but you can already see that this is starting to work. This uh, shade oil is, um, it's not really an oil, it's, it's acrylic based paint. But it does get into all the little spots just like it should. It flows in quite nice. So it's just basically all we're doing, just moving the paint around inside. And it should fill all those little grates in our grill. And it should move away from the top of the bars and uh, fill in the little holes. And that is. This is basically just how you do these black washes. And that's about it.
Okay. Oops. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. I'll just do that again in here. So there we have the black wash on the Ford Galaxy grill. And now this will take a while to dry, of course, so we can just put it to the side. Now, if you want to get in between these headlights, of course you can use this brush that I'm using, or use that smaller brush that I showed before. But at any rate, okay, so there it is there. there. And there we go. See how much better that looks? More like the real grill. And then of course we have our rear grill as well, which is the same process. Just go right in there and let the paint do its magic. So when this dries, it'll dry out a bit flatter and uh, look pretty nice. Grills are not the only area where you can apply the Null Oil Shade. You can also apply it to these wire wheels here in basically the same way. So I'll just get some on the brush and then what I'm doing is going in between the spokes here just to get the paint down to the bottom. Now you may need to actually do this a few times when it dries, uh, just to get the coverage in here, because these washes are pretty thin. There we go. Sometimes they don't want to come off the brush. <laughs> okay. But still, the, you can see the results here, even with just a little bit, how much of a difference it changes the regular wheel here from the uh, one with the black wash. You can really see the difference in the wire spokes between the two. I know maybe on my camera it's not so apparent, but definitely you can see something different. And then, of course, when you let this dry, it'll look uh, a little bit more like a flat black wash in there, flat black paint. But uh, yeah, overall, there's more uses for the Nuln oil. Now, I'm going to show you something that's uh, to do with grills and a little bit of customization. A couple of years ago, a customer of mine came in and brought a whole bunch of model car bits and old first run instruction sheets for model cars. So I was going through this and I found in the old 1949 Mercury instructions on the back were a bunch of uh, concept art here for different pieces you could use from other model cars to add onto your 49 Mercury just for a different look. And one of the things they have in here is the custom grill bar from the 1950 Ford convertible kit put in here instead of the ones that come in the Mercury kit. And this sort of got me thinking that maybe you could use some of the Mercury grills and put them in the Ford kit instead. So I found these two spare parts that I have. One is the grill insert. This is, of course, a custom piece for the 1949 Ford. And the other here we have is the 49 Mercury back grill, which basically is the little grill that's in behind this bar here. So I thought maybe that could be uh, something cool to try to see if I can fit this grill into this grill housing. 
For all intents and purposes, it does look like this grill would easily fit into this grill shroud. However, there is a little bit of a problem. As you can see, it won't drop straight into the back. It is actually sitting out. So I, th I hope this will be a simple conversion. See, this is just right on the edge. We want it to get right back into that little uh, bit of plastic here and here, sort of a retaining wall. So the only way to do that is, again, using our sandpaper with the uh, MDF backing. And what I thought we could try to do is, uh, well, first off, there's some mold burrs on the top, so we'll just carefully get rid of those. Okay, there goes one. And there's the other. So now the top should have a nice round bit to it. And I think what we will do is we'll try to keep the top the same because I think the curvature is right on those corners. However, we could take the sandpaper very easily and just go along the bottom of the grill and sand this until we remove enough from the bottom so that it will fit into that shroud opening. Now what I'll do is I'll just sand a little bit and then test it. So I think it's starting to get in there. So I take it out, we'll sand a little more. Again. Okay, maybe a little better. Seems to want to try to get in there. So sanding. In case you're wondering, this is 180 grit sandpaper on the board here. fill the bottom holes. Okay, we're getting closer now. Each time is a little bit closer. A little more dustier. Actually, I think we're almost there. Sanding. Very boring. <laughs> okay. Now, as long as you keep that flat, you should be all right. Oops. Don't get starting to bow it a little bit. Okay, I see what's going on. All right, so we just need to go down a little more. Should just nicely drop into the shroud. Love the little holes in here. Yeah, so close. Might need to uh, go a little around the top here, but I'm not sure. Just seems like it's just about wants to do its thing. I mean, that's getting pretty good. Eh? Okay. Come on down. So you notice there's a couple little bars sitting on the back of the grill here. Maybe we could remove those and might help it to uh, get in there. Oh yeah, that's it's getting there. <laughs> it's still a tight fit. I'm talking millimeters now, micro microns. 
thousandths of an inch to have this thing drop in nice and flat. Is this it? Is it the final? That's the final. Actually, that's perfect. Take a look at that. Fits right up perfectly on that curve. Just needed to sand a bit off the bottom. Whoops, so there we go, model car fans. Even the uh, the little bars fit in here without much interference. Although it might be good just to knock them off. But look at that, model car fans. Now we have our own custom grill in a custom grill shroud that even George Barris and the team at AMT pardon me, didn't even think about. You know, there might even be a way to get that 49 Mercury grill right in here as well. They did it on the real cars, so we should be able to do it on our models. Here's our shroud and our grill. I painted the shroud with the candy apple red, and inside the grill I used some of that Abaddon Black with our tiny little brush. Also, the Abaddon Black comes from the Games Workshop. So, Danny, what do you think of this? Wow, that candy apple grill shell and the grill look really good together. Well, Danny, wait till you see the 1963 Ford Galaxy. Oh boy, I can't wait! Well, let's take a look at it next. Okay, okay. Here's our 64 Ford Galaxy grill once it's installed on the car. And as you can see here, Danny, our black wash worked really nicely inside that grill opening. And I also painted the Ford emblem in here and applied a bit of paint to our parking lights, turn signal lenses. It's a 63. So I'll just rotate around our uh, turntable here just to get to the back grill. As you can see, this car is amazing looking. One of my favorite Fords of the 60s. There's the back panel. And just look at how great this is with the taillights. And again, the wash into the grill at the back. And I just moved my camera, didn't I? There we go. Let's get this back to normal. So, yeah, again, the emblem is painted. And look at how nice it looks with those red tail lamps in the back. This thing is amazing. So let's bring her around. Again, you can see all the bare metal foil. That again is the other video. If you click that link up above, you'll see how we did our bare metal foil. So there's our grill, Danny. Wow, that looks so much better. That black wash really makes things stand out. And just for a little bit of fun, this is our custom grill shell which I have stuffed inside the front end of the 50 Ford. As you can see, again, it fits nicely and looks really well. Um, now, this Ford was one that a customer gave me, so it's it was for his uh, model train set, and he left it outside, believe it or not. He had a G-gauge train set. Anyway, it's pretty rough. It's a rebuild, you know. But still, some cool things. I mean, the original hubcap spinners you got on there from the first issue of this kit. So again, some cool stuff. Hopefully I can fix it. But uh, there's that grill. Well, I hope you enjoyed that Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Tips and Tech episode where I got to show you how to apply a black grill wash using the Games Workshop Nuln Oil Paint from Citadel. Woo! What a mouthful. All right, next week we have... Oh, hey, who's this? It's Danny the dog. Hi, Danny. How are you doing? Are you doing well? Yeah? What do you want to... Why are you here? Oh, uh, we're doing this again, just like last time. Danny, you are a dog of few words sometimes, and sometimes we just can't stop you talking. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So w what are you doing? Oh, you don't want people to know what we're going to be doing next week? Because that'll ruin the surprise, right? Okay, well, uh, so what should we do next week, Danny? Okay. Oh, that would be a good tips and tech. Okay, well, I'll keep that a secret. But um, anyway, so uh, I guess we'll see you next week then, Danny? Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so next week, as Danny suggested, I've got a great idea. Well, actually, we've got a great idea to show you something that's going to be really cool. Can you say, hey? That's kind of a clue. So anyway, if you want to see what that is, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. 
pound that notification bell because we want you to know what this thing is next time around. And uh, if you've done these black washes and stuff before, uh, let us know how you do it. If you don't use the Games Workshop uh, Nuln Oil like I did, how did you do it? In the past, before um, when I was young, I used to take the tester's flat black paint and thin it down with paint thinner and then apply it that way and then take a rag and wipe off the top and then you get the grills coming through. That's another way to do it. If you have a great idea for this, let us know in the comments down below. If there's something on the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage tips and techs that you want to learn, let us know in the comments as well and then maybe we can do an upcoming future video and say, hey, this person had the idea. Oh, and one thing before I go here, just a shout out again to Rick Zink. Thank you again for sending me this great postcard. It says, hi Trevor, I enjoy your model car garage, model car kit reviews. Keep up the great work. I have a YouTube channel about model cars and the model car hobby. Please check it out. The channel name is Rick Zink. Best wishes, Rick. Rick. <laughs> so again, Rick, I will put that down in the comment section below and anybody that wants to check that out, go over and do it. And from me and Danny the dog, we will see you again next week. Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you are the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... It, we are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.